Hey guys, so I have here my AKG N700 noise cancelling headphones and today I want to show you here how to perform the uh, firmware upgrade on these headphones. So all you need for this is your uh, smartphone, so you can use an iPhone own or an Android phone. Both will work. In this case I'm using here my iPhone. And what we need to do is we just turn on the headphones just like this and they should pair to our smartphone. So uh, I've previously paired this of course because I've been using these headphones for a long time now. So you can see here they're currently paired. And then the next thing is that you need is one application and that's here the AKG headphone app. And you do find this here for free in the uh, App Store or of course also in the Google Play Store. You just look for AKG headphone. You're going to find this here as the first search result. And now we can just go ahead. I've previously installed this app before, so I'm just going to start this now. And now immediately it's going to recognize that the N700 NC are connected. And uh, the battery percentage right now for these headphones is 80%. For in order to start the upgrade, you need to have at least 50% of battery. So you may have to charge them before you can continue here. So now in the upper right corner of the screen, you see this little greenish dot and that indicates that there is a firmware upgrade available. So we select this and then here on the list on the very bottom you see here firmware, current firmware 0.2.5 and you say upgrade. So you just select the upgrade button and the app will automatically start to download and install the firmware upgrade on the headphones. So this does take a while, it takes several minutes and while this is going on, you should not touch the headphones or your phone. So definitely don't leave the application. It's best to just leave everything as it is. Don't play around with it. And about five minutes later, the update is going to be complete. And at that point, you're going to see that the headphones are first going to restart. And so that means you're going to hear the uh, startup jingle. And at this point, you will know that the update was completed successfully. And to confirm this, we can also check here the information screen in the app and it's going to show us the new firmware version number. At this point, this is here 0 0.2.7 and we're all set. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below and don't forget to check out my other videos.